Hey Fragheads and Fragrance Lovers, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Shell chatting about beautiful spicy fragrances. Y'all saw the list, five beautiful spicy fragrances for you to keep you warm, to keep you, you know, refreshed in a way. Spicy fragrances can be refreshing in their own way and fragr spicy fragrances can help you feel cozy, remind you of those baked goods. These are not gourmand fragrances. This fragrance list is not really about the vanilla or anything like that. If you like cozy fragrances and you were looking for vanilla in this list, I'll include a link down below where I made a, a list focused on those cozy, feel-good, holiday, uh, cold-weather fragrances. But this one's more about those spicy, zesty cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and other spices. So let's jump into the list. I have two honorable mentions for you real quick uh, to get us started. The first one is Timbuktu. Even though this is fragrance is all about and inspired by the spices of Africa, supposed to capture the, you know, the incense and all the spices and the, the you know, the flair and the soul of Africa. I think that this fragrance is, again, focused on the resins a little bit more than the spices, but this could do you very well uh, for, a, for a spicy fragrance. But again, it's, uh, it's beautiful, it's great quality, it's very well made, but again, it might not be exactly what you think of traditionally when you think of a spicy fragrance, but it does it, does it very well with incense. The next one is Ferragamo Womo. Y'all know how much I like this fragrance. I find it strange that this one was overshadowed by the signature. The signature has leather. It's a little bit more understated on the sweetness and uh, perhaps is easier to wear for people. This one's very sweet. This one's a full-on gourmand fragrance, one of the best ones that was ever made in the designer realm of things as far as, as, far as uh, gourmand fragrances go. Um, tiramisu fragrance uh, smells like almond a little bit, and it's very sweet. It's, uh, it's almost got that boozy patchouli thing going on. It's uh, very, very well made, very nice, and trust me, this is a compliment getter. And it also does a great thing with a little bit of leather, but the best thing about it is the Ambroxan. It brings in a beautiful modern Ambroxan quality that I think is very well done. And so it doesn't make it makes this fragrance so it doesn't feel so syrupy or too sweet or too heavy, at least for my taste. So let's jump into the list. Let's jump into the actual spicy fragrances that you came here for. Uh, this is Maharis from El Herbalurio. Uh, straight from Italy, you've heard me mention this fragrance a number of times. Cinnamon, clove, musk, some animalic vibes to this fragrance. That's what you're getting here. Beautiful fragrance, stunning. I wore this one with Home for the Holidays, and that one's a great fragrance. I guess another honorable mention, but I don't have a bottle to share uh, show you. Uh, but Maharis is one of the best spicy fragrances on the market. Often compared to, it has similarities to Muscat Vajour. Again, I think that this one's more affordable. I think this one's the better fragrance in wearability and value for money. And I enjoy this fragrance personally more than Muscat Vajour. So uh, Maharis, uh, great fragrance. You can pick it up for around the $50 range for 50 mils. I think you get your money's worth. Uh, it's not a, you know, a longevity beast. It'll give you about seven hours, but those seven hours are beautiful and spicy, and it's just gorgeous as far as spicy fragrances go. So Maharis by El Herbalurio. Highly recommend y'all get your hands on that one and try it out. And these fragrances aren't going to be the easiest to get go for. In my opinion, most designer fragrances just don't do spice great. There are a few out there, uh, you know, here and there. There's like Ultimate by Baldo Serini and a couple of fragrances in the designer realm that do it fairly decently. But I have to bring y'all the spicy fragrances, the ones that really give you a blast of spice, really going to warm you up. And this one's a beast, guys. I, I, I wanted to tell y'all an emphasis how strong this fragrance is. This is Al Haramain's. This is the, uh, was, how they say it, Amber Oud. This is the tobacco edition. There is a rouge and a gold and a number of different versions, but this one is the tobacco and let me tell you, even though there is a lot of tobacco here, there's a lot of spice, a cinnamon here, and it's gorgeous. And there is vanilla compared to Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. There's ginger here, lots of ginger, lots of spices. This is might be the most spiciest fragrance I've ever smelled. It's aggressive. It's a beast. And this probably is the spiciest fragrance I've ever smelled of all time. It's in your face, uh, and the tobacco really adds to the aggressive, uh, confident, uh, vibe to this fragrance. This is a monster, guys. I highly recommend you that you try this fragrance if you love tobacco, you like assertive tobacco, and you also like assertive in-your-face spices. 
So they did a great job with this one. I don't. I think this fragrance is highly underrated for what it is. Performance is through the roof. Value is also through the roof. Again, full retail of this fragrance is around the hundred sixty dollar range, and you can pick this one up for the sixty for about sixty fifty. Uh, you know, deep into the fifties, probably around sixty bucks at the right places. I will include another link down below where you can check this fragrance out. So highly recommend this one. I like it better than Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Uh, for some reason, that one's uh, the clove. Uh, you know, bothers me for some reason. This one is much of a more complex and a better blend of spices to me. Some people compare it to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, but again, this one's not as dark. It's a lot to me. It feels a little bit fresher and zestier with all the spices spices and it, and it does something different you know it doesn't have that dark uh, tom ford uh type of dna really but um really gorgeous fragrance i can't say enough good about it but it's a powerhouse two sprays is probably more than you ever need for pretty much any situation so be careful on the trigger with that one uh the next fragrance here i have to mention is treachery this is from the house of mahair olfactive guys i highly recommend you try this fragrance this is a beautiful juice highly recommended here at the centaur fragrance channel this is boozy this has tobacco as well this has davana which adds this rich complex aggressive uh quality to the fragrance it's almost like herbal in a way uh very boozy as well this is a fragrance that's supposed to capture the feeling of a pirate and it does it so so well not a cheap fragrance either we'll talk about the price here in a second but treacher i can't speak enough good about this one this has everything that you want if you like full-bodied complex in your face aggressive fragrances if you like ursa uh, by tenzia terenzi and other fragrances that are full bodied and full and uh and uh you know have a growl to them have have a very dominant feeling and quality about them this fragrance is great if you like really light transparent easygoing fragrances that are you know happy and cheerful and just you know just dance and skip along the day and la 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 <laughs> this is not one of those fragrances uh treachery it's uh it's got a knife to your back and says where's the gold uh anyways beautiful fragrance treachery by mahir olfactive when i smelled this one it put a smile on my face guys uh, ladies and gents treachery absolutely stunning fragrance now that one might be a little bold treachery some people might feel it feel like it may be perhaps masculine for some people uh, but this one here dolce gabbana this is a desert velvet oud this is a stunning fragrance i wanted this fragrance for so long happy to have it in my collection this one has that dry arid desert quality to it has lots of spices as well not a lot of oud here, honestly. It has that sensual, leathery, modern, um, I guess, oud to it. Don't know if there's any real oud in this fragrance, honestly, at all. They keep a lot of the notes secret. They don't tell us all the notes. And I just have to tell y'all that this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Uh, this actually doesn't go as dark or as heavy as like you might think. Like the previous one, Treachery, was a very bold fragrance. This one actually has a Shepra DNA underneath it. Adding a little bit of aldehydes and citrusy qualities to it, a little bit of animalics, and it manages to somehow be bright, classy, spicy, and leathery and oody at the same time. It's it's unbelievable juice. I, it's, it might be a little bit simple for people who are deep into the niche game, but this is a very classy fragrance for what it is. And if you like spicy fragrances and classy feeling fragrances, make you feel like you're a million bucks. Uh, you know, this one, uh, Desert Velvet Oud, guys, I, uh, ladies and gents, I highly recommend you try this one. It's, uh, it's again, might be simple for some. And uh, this one's underrated as well. I was lucky enough to pick. This is an exclusive from the Dolce Gabbana line. Uh, full retail, again, about 300 but I you can scoop these up. If you know what you're looking for at the right place in time for about $100, highly recommend it. Uh, so, ladies and gents, we got the last uh, our last fragrance here. This one, beautiful too. All these are favorites in my collection, really. That's why I keep them around. And this is Oud from Les Alexers. This is actually was partly made or made by somebody who worked on or knew all the details of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I actually messaged the company and asked them, um, 
was this intentionally a clone or was there any inspiration? I have this feeling and I just have to ask and they confirmed it. So the, the perfumer or the people who are involved who made this fragrance also worked on Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I think that they brought all of the components of the Tom Ford. It doesn't go with the dark patchouli, that signature Tom Ford DNA. It might not have that, which you might love, but this one makes it even better. It's brighter, it's spicier and broxen it's musky it's leathery uh, this is very long lasting performance is through the roof value is great in my opinion oud wood has been reformulated so many times and uh, it's it's a ghost or a shadow of, of its former self i think that this is the much better value it's not a cheap fragrance though it's about um last time i looked it was around the 200 dollars range for 100 mils I think that this is still the better fragrance than the Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I honestly do, and I love having this in the collection. I always wanted Tom Ford's Oud Wood for such a long time, and I finally got this one and bought it and got my hands on it, and I'm not looking back, guys. This is better than Tom Ford's Oud Wood, in my opinion, and I'm not just saying that. I paid for this one with my own hard-earned money. So, ladies and gents, I hope that you enjoyed my list today. Beautiful, spicy fragrances, unconventional fragrances. I didn't make a list of just everyday fragrances or fragrances that might have had a little pink pepper here and there, a little smidge of black pepper. I tried to pull out truly spicy fragrances for you, and I hope that you liked my choices. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your, do you like spices and fragrance? And what is your favorite spicy fragrance, if you have one? And if you don't, let me know what is a spice that you would like to see in fragrances that you don't see all the time. Is there a certain type of spice that you, you, know, you want to smell in fragrances, but you can never find it? Maybe it's Chipotle seasoning. Hey, tell me, whatever it is, in the comment sections below. And I hope that you enjoyed this video here today. Wear what you love. Rock what you got. I hope that you're safe. I hope that you're smelling beautiful. I know that you are. Wear what you love. And uh, have a beautiful day, my friends. I'll catch you in the next video. Please help me, down, uh, help me out down below. You know how to do that. And I'll see you soon, everybody. Peace out. Man, bye.